All right, guys, welcome back to another Stoji Lads YouTube video. We are back on the tier maker. Uh, you guys really, I mean, I just made them kind of for fun <laughs> last time. I didn't expect anyone to actually like really care about it, but you guys really seem to like them. Uh, they got thousands of views. Uh, I saw the videos, especially the Cuban one shared on Reddit and all that kind of stuff. So that was really cool. Um, obviously, yeah, it was just for fun and um, it seemed to, I mean, obviously opinions and that kind of stuff always generates a buzz, which was a lot of fun. So I thought, you know, why not make another one that everyone can relate to, non-Cuban or Cuban cigar smokers. Um, so I'm going to do a cigar sizes or Vitolas uh, tier maker. Uh, this tier list is just my personal opinion, obviously. Um, it's going to piss people off. Uh, it's going to make some people happy. It's like the Cuban cigar one. Uh, some people were really upset because I didn't like their brand as much as they did. It's going to happen. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's just all a lot of fun to uh, compare like this. So like last time, we got S, A, B, C, and D. Uh, top tier, worst tier, all the in-between. Uh, I got most of the common uh, general cigar sizes here. These are the ones you'll see most often. They're very generalized and there's a lot of stuff in between. Obviously, it's there aren't set molds. Uh, there's a lot more sizes uh, than this, but I got to go for the ones that are most common here. Um, so we got everything from a double Corona down to a um, down to a yeah, Panatella, I guess. So we got a little bit of everything here. Um, and like I said, I'm going to just tell you guys what uh, what I think of each size. Uh, so kicking it off here with the Churchill. Uh, obviously a very classic cigar size. It's been around forever, pretty much. Um, Mr. Churchill himself uh, was very fond of this size. I'm going to stick that so uh, soundly in A. Um, this is a mix of how easy it is to find. Most cigar lines do have a Churchill nowadays. A lot of non-Cuban ones do have a Churchill. Um, it's just very common. I love the 47 ring gauge. I love the sort of seven inch length. It's a long smoke, especially in the summer. It's perfect. Um, and like I said, it's pretty common, but it's it's um, it's not like a huge thick cigar. It's, it's a good long one. And a lot of legendary Cuban cigars are around. The Sir Winston, obviously the Romeo Julieta Churchill, uh, the Cohiba Esplendido. So a lot of really legendary cigars in the Churchill size. Uh, you can't disrespect it. Um, I'll do the Corona next. Um, this is a size I like, uh, but again, it's not as common. Uh, this is one that in the States, especially, it's not that around that much. It's, it's sort of like a five and a half inch, perhaps by 42 ring gauge. The Monte Cristo number three is this size. Uh, the Cohiba, uh, Siglo three is this size, but even in Cuba, you know, the, you have the Quadrose Coronas Especiales. Uh, which is this size, but even in Cuba, which is a very traditional uh, market for classic shapes. The Corona used to be the what the Robusto is today. It used to be the standard. Nowadays, it's just not common. Like I said, even in Cuba, they don't have too many Coronas nowadays, which is a shame because I like the size. It's sort of in between a petite Corona and a Robusto. Um, Non-Cubans, they're just not around a lot, but every Corona that I've had, I've loved. The Sigla 3, fantastic. Uh, the Monte Cristo number 3 is good. Uh, and the Quadrose Coronas Claro are really nice. I can't even think of any non-Cuban Coronas that I've had. I know Davidoff probably makes a couple, but other than that, not too common. But solid B. I like the brand. I, I like the size. Next up to the one that will probably piss the most people off: the the Gordo, uh, the most modern size here. Uh, the six by sixty is usually what they are, and I'm going to stick that at a solid D. That's my worst uh, cigar size around. I hate it. Uh, and a lot of the reason is I just don't like, I mean, personally, I don't like the, the feel of it in the hand, in the mouth. It's just too much. Um, but my, my, I guess more technical reason for not liking it is just the fact that it's not a size that blenders really look out for. Um, the reason it's around and I've talked to cigar makers about this and, you know, read interviews and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people perceive it to be a very good value cigar. You're not paying a lot more for a Gordo than a Robusto, but you're getting, a lot more tobacco, at least what you think is a lot more value, bang for your buck, so to speak. But the cigar makers themselves aren't really blending their blends with a Gordo in mind. Um, they are putting it in because it's a popular size, but they're blending the blend with a Robusto or, or even sometimes a Churchill or a Double Corona in mind, but they're just kind of throwing more filler in there and the ratio of wrapper to filler is really bad on it. 
uh, filler is the, by, by far the cheapest part of the cigars. They're just making more cheap crap in there and making it bigger so you think you're getting better value. A lot of the blends just aren't ever focused on at 6x60. So you're getting kind of subpar blend as well. So for in actuality, I think the bang for your buck is really poor. Um, so yeah, I just, I'm personally really not a fan. Moving on to one that I am a huge fan on, Solid S, my favorite size, the Corona Gorda. This for several reasons. I mean, I love the size itself, just the feel of it. 46 ring gauge by like almost six inches. That's like a perfect size. 144, 146 millimeters, I believe in Cuba. That's the standard. Juan Lopez Selección number one, Punch Punch, Cuba Siglo four, or the Monterrey Epicure number one, legendary Cuban cigars in that size. You've also got non-Cubans around. I mean, most of these, especially the boutique stuff, make Corona Gordas nowadays. Uh, I know that uh, Tatuaje make them. I know that Illusione make them. Foundation make them. You can get most blends nowadays in Corona Gordas, which I love. But also, you know, brands like Davidoff and Arturo Fuente make uh, make Corona Gordas. Amazing size. I absolutely love it. Perfect long smoke, but also a little bit thinner than a Robusto. More intense uh, you know, just concentrated flavor. I absolutely love it. Next one, um, the Culebras, one that I think most people have seen. Not a lot of people might have smoked. I'm going to stick it in B for historical reasons. The story goes that the rollers way back in the day were allotted one cigar a day. And to kind of circumvent this and get around it, they would uh, roll three cigars into one like this and... Um, they could get three cigars for one, I guess. It's kind of urban myth. I'm not sure how true it is. The reason I put it in B, I mean, it's historically very prominent. It's kind of, it's one that's always been around, but it's hard to find. I mean, barely any cigars uh, in the Culebra size are available, but the ones that are, are supposedly been really good. Uh, the good old Davidoff with like that gold band used to be spectacular, apparently. And the Partagas Culebras out of Cuba are supposedly very good cigars. So I'll stick it in B uh, just to, to honor it. And next up, the Double Corona. Uh, the longest cigar. I mean, they're almost 20 centimeters, which is a lot. They're like, what, nine inches or something? I'm not great at inches, but super long cigars. I'll stick it in B. I like Double Coronas, but I don't, I'm not crazy about them. Um, you know, the long cigars, but oftentimes I'll, I'd rather just have two different shorter cigars than a double Corona and they don't last too much longer than Churchill's. I've had several of the Cuban ones, but they usually just kind of get a little bit boring by the end. I feel, um, you know, Oil de Monterey double Corona, legendary cigar, the Partagas Lusitanias, uh, but they're not too common foundation. I know Nick Melillo does a lot of double Coronas and he focuses on that blend. Uh, but other than that, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're good. They're good, but not my favorite. Um, another similar one, a Lonsdale. I think I'll put the Lonsdale at sort of the middle of B here, perhaps. Not too common. I know Illusione make Lonsdales, um, so I think you can get Davidoff Lonsdales as well, perhaps. It's a 42 by like six and a half, uh, so it's even longer than a Corona. The Monte Cristo number one is a Lonsdale. The Cohiba Siglo five is a Lonsdale. I really like those cigars. It's just not the most common. Um, and those blends often don't stick out too much. The Corona Gordas are more famous in Cuba. The Churchills are more famous. They're just sort of a, a little bit under the radar, radar. Not the most common size, but I really like it still. Panatella. I think Panatella would be the first one to fill out that C. Uh, you know, like that 33 ring gauge, it's really small. Uh, sometimes they sort of feel like cigarettes. Um, they're not too common. I mean, in the, I'm not even sure if you can get Panatellas in the States from many brands. I can't even think of any like American Panatellas that I've seen. They used to be really popular, like, you know, 1900s, but just not that common nowadays. The Cohiba Exquisitos is kind of like a Panatella. I think it's a, it's a fine cigar. But they just get really hot and squishy by the end oftentimes. And yeah, not the biggest fan. Not too, not not enough around, really. It's it's kind of a forgotten size. Perfectos. Now, this is one of those sizes that they're, they come in off a lot of sizes. But I'm, I'm just going to talk about the shape because these we're already talking about the sizes in the other Vitolas. Uh, the Perfecto size, I'll put it at a C. I like the Cuaba line. I like some of the Davidoffs uh, that come in Perfecto. But they're not that common. 
and I feel like the size just makes it a little bit awkward sometimes the way it's, it's rolled. I mean, they're very difficult for the rollers to make. So percentage wise, you're getting more faulty cigars oftentimes in in perfectos and non perfectos. And the the way the end is so 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 small, it makes it oftentimes that when you light it up, it it's it's a higher risk of getting an uneven burn. I like the way it, it transitions though from a th- slimmer to a thicker and becoming slimmer again. I mean, like the La Flor Dominicana Andalusian Bulls. I mean, there's a lot of famous perfectos um placencia have made some alma fuertes and stuff that are famous um so there's good stuff even oliva have their serie v so there's been you know cigars of the year in perfecto style sizes but not not my favorite petite corona top of the a that's a size for me that's um, almost unbeatable in cuba there are almost unlimited petite coronas you know you've got uh you know the cohiba siglo 2 trinidad reyes that i love Monte Cristo number four. They're not as common in the States. Uh, Davidoff makes some as they're very traditional in their sizes. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, Americans just, uh, I, th- I feel like the, the opinion there is often that people think Petite Coronas are short sticks that you smoke in the winter when you don't have time, but they can be full expressions of a beautiful blend. And I really think Petite Coronas are some of the best Cuban cigars out there. Some of the brands have more Petite Coronas than anything else. I mean, Romeo Julieta, Partagas, they have so many petite coronas, it's crazy. Um, next up, Torpedo. Again, a generalized size. I'm going to stick it like there in B. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Torpedo sizes. I think they're good. The Bolivar Bellicosos Finos is an excellent cigar. The Monte Cristo number two is an excellent cigar. But I just, there's something about the tapered end that I'm not like a massive, massive fan of. Uh, the 52 by 6 and 1 fourth inch size is the most common. But there's some non-Cubans around. I mean, there's a lot. The Aging Room Quattro Nicaragua won Cigar of the Year, which was a torpedo. The My Father Le Bijou, which was a torpedo. Padron makes some good ones as well. So there are a lot of torpedoes around um, in the States even, uh, non-Cuban-wise. I think it's a good, well-distributed size. Just not my personal favorite for some reason. Robusto the second S tier size. I mean, kind of speaks for itself. It it has for many years been the most well sold size. Uh, not not anymore though in the States, but the five by 50, it's a classic size almost. I mean, I can barely think of any blends that are not available in a Robusto. That five by 50, it's a perfect, it's almost exactly an hour. You get a really nice ratio of wrapper filler uh, binder. It's just almost every expression is rolled with a Robusto in mind. Cohiba Robusto, uh, Oyo de, Montecure, Oyo de Monterey, Epicure number two. Uh, there's so many legendary Robustos around. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the best size. It's just slightly beaten by the Corona Gorda for me because uh, I like it a little bit slimmer than the Robusto. Next up, the Toro. Uh, I, I like it fine. I'll stick it in B. Uh, I think Toros are, are not bad. Um, I just don't find myself liking it, wanting a Toro that often. Like, it's just a, it's six by 50 most times. It is the most sold cigar size in the States nowadays. It's good. It's just, oftentimes, like, I'd, I'd rather have a Robusta in the same size, you know? Like, I don't feel like I need the bigger size too much. And if it's a summer evening and I want a long smoke, I might go for a Churchill. I feel like Toro is just a little bit awkward. You know, it's basically a torpedo, but just not a tapered end. So, yeah, I think Toros are available like like Robustos in every blend, so they're so well distributed. Just personally, I don't think about Toros too often, right? Like, I don't know, I'd just rather go for a lot of other sizes, but they're fine. I smoke a lot of Toros still because they just happen to be around that often. And uh, let's end it up with, this is actually Lancero. The, the pick is cut off because this tier maker site is not the best, but um, Lancero, I think I'll put it at top of the B. B was ended up being a popular popular category here it's just good it's they're not too many around but they are still kind of popular uh, i really love the uh, obviously cohiba lancero is an amazing cigar trinidad fundador is amazing cigar but tatuaje i know pete johnson loves making lanceros there's so many around i can recommend the joya de nicaragua antonio lancero so in the states there are a lot of them around still they're pretty popular um, and it's just a great you know if you want to get that intensity of the blend the most concentrated flavor you go for a lancero there's so much wrapper on that thing it's long it's elegant it's a long smoke yeah it's hard to beat lanceros in some blends 
Um, so that is my list right there, guys. I think this is actually the best order. Corona Gorda, Robusto, Pretty Corona Churchill. Those are my top four. I could move these around a little bit. I mean, maybe that goes there. The double Corona might beat the Lancer a little bit. Um, yeah, I think maybe this is the size. Um, something like that. Uh, tell me how wrong I was, though, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments like last time. It's a lot of fun reading them, though. I really like seeing all the differing opinions. Uh, obviously, that's what it's all about. Um, but yeah, let me know, guys. What's your order? Uh, which one? I mean, does anyone hate the Corona Gorda, maybe? Love the Gordos. I'm sure there are people out there that, that are like that. Um, but at the end of the day, a lot of fun. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, as always. Uh, fight it out in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.